there guys, it's VPAT and welcome back again to another tutorial. For today's video, I'm going to discuss how to convert binary to its decimal form. So in here, we have a binary number, which is 101 base 2, and then we're going to convert it into its decimal form, which is blank base 10. So in order to convert, kailangan lang natin matutunan yung dalawang concepts. Yung first concept natin is that kapag sinabi sa binary 1, that would be on, and then, pag sinabi naman natin 0, that would be off. Tapos, yung second concept naman natin is kailangan familiar tayo dun sa powers of 2. Pero ano nga ba muna yung mga powers of 2? Ito yung mga 2 raised to 0, which is equal to 1. 2 raised to 1, which is equal to 2. 2 raised to 2, which is equal to 4. 2 raised to 3, which is equal to 8. And then, 2 raised to 4, which is equal to 16. 2 raised to 5, which is equal to 32. And then, so on and so forth. So, huwag kayong mag guys, kasi ito mga list of values na to ay ipa-flash ko naman sa screen habang nagsasolve tayo ng mga examples. So, balikan lang natin yung problem natin kanina, which is this one. Kapag alam na natin yung dalawang concepts na yun, pwede na tayong mag-convert from binary to decimal, okay? So, in here, ito yung given natin na 101 base 2. Ang gagawin lang natin is lahat ng bits na to ay i-raise natin dun sa powers of 2. So, that would be equal to 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, at 2 raised to 2. Okay? So, kailangan lang natin kuhanin yung mga naka-on na bits, or yung mga 1, tapos i-add yung mga corresponding values nila. So, in this case, kailangan natin mag-start dito sa pinaka-right. So, since ito ay naka-on, that would be 2 raised to 0, tapos i-add natin siya sa isa pang naka-on na bit, which is this one, which is 2 raised to 2. So, yung 2 raised to 0 ay equal sa 1. I-add natin siya dito sa 2 raised to 2, which is equal to 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin dyan would be 5 base 10. So, eto na yung final answer natin. Okay? Alam ko, medyo mahirap siya sa umpisa, but let's try this example para mas matering tayo. So, we have here 101 base 2. So, again guys, dito tayo sa pinaka-right magsisimula. At i-raise natin lahat yung bits na to sa powers of 2. So, that would be 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, and then 2 raised to 2. Okay? Since ang mga naka-on na values ay eto, that would be equal to 2 raised to 0 plus 2 raised to 2. Okay? So, that would be equal to 1 according dito, tapos yung 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4 according din dito. Okay? So, that is equal to 5 base 10. Katulad na example natin kanina. Now, let's try this example naman. We have here 100 base 2. So, again guys, dito tayo sa pinaka-rightmost part magsisimula. At i-raise natin tong bits na to sa powers of 2. So, as you can see, since eto lang yung naka-on na bit, that would be equal to 2 raised to 2, which is equal to 4 base 10. At yun ay final answer natin. Okay? Now, let's move on to our next example. So, katulad kanina, kailangan natin mag-start ulit sa pinaka-right. Pero instead na ilalagay natin yung 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, and etc., pwede na lang natin gawin na 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Understandable naman kasi na ito yung mga exponents ng 2 natin. Okay? So, pwede na tayong magdere-derecho din ng solve dito. So, in here, since ito ay naka-on, that would be 2 raised to 0, which is equal to 1. So, lalagay na lang natin 1. Tapos, a-add natin siya dito sa naka-on na bit, which is 2 raised to 2, which is 4. Okay? After nyan, i-add ulit natin siya dito sa naka-on na bit, that would be 2 raised to 4, which is equal to 16. Okay? So, tignan nyo lang lagi itong guide na to. So, that would be 16 plus 4 is equal to 20 plus 1. That would be 21 base 10. So, eto na yung final answer natin. Okay? Let's now move on to our next example. Katulad kanina, magsastart tayo sa pinaka-right. Tapos, i-raise natin to lahat sa powers of 2. So, that would be 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, and then 2 raised to 4. Okay? Again guys, yung mga naka-on na bits ay 2 raised to 1, which is this one, that would be equal to 2, according dito. Next naman would be this one, 2 raised to 3, which is equal to 8, ay i-add natin dyan. 
After nyan, i-add din natin tong 2 raised to 4, which is equal to 16. So, in here, we have 16 plus 2, that would be equal to 18, plus 8, that would be 26 base 10. So, ito na yung final answer natin, okay? Now, let's move on to our next example. Again, dito tayo magsa-start sa pinaka-right. Tapos, i raise natin lahat ng bits sa powers of 2, okay? In this case, medyo mahaba na siya. Dapat lang nagamitin natin itong mga shortcut natin, okay? So, since ito ay naka-on, that would be 2 raised to 1, which is equal to 2. Ito naman ay 2 raised to 2, which is equal to 4. Ito naman ay 2 raised to 3, which is equal to 8. And then, this one naman would be 2 raised to 5, which is equal to 32. Mind you guys, na lahat ng naka-off na bits ay lagi natin ini-skip, okay? So, since may 1, 2, 3, 4 na bits tayo dito na naka-on, dapat may 1, 2, 3, 4 values din tayo. So, kapag in natin itong 32 plus 2, that would be 34, plus 4, that would be 38, then 38 plus 8, that would be 46 base 10. Okay? So, ito na yung final answer natin. Next example would be this one. Again, katulad ng ginagawa natin kanina, magsa-start tayo sa right at i raise natin to lahat sa powers of 2. So, in this case, since dalawa lang yung naka-on, mas madali siya. That would be 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2. Add lang natin dito sa 2 raised to 4 which is equal to 16. So, that is equal to 16 plus 2, 18 base 10. Okay? Next example would be this one naman. So, again guys, dito tayo sa pinaka-right magsa-start at i-raise natin to lahat sa powers of 2. So, since ang mga naka-on ay etong 2 raised to 2, that would be equal to 4. Ito naman ay 2 raised to 3, that would be equal to 8. Ito naman ay 2 raised to 5, that would be equal to 32. And then, ito naman ay 2 raised to 6, that would be equal to 64. So, himay-himayin na lang muna natin. 32 plus 8, that would be equal to 40. Bring down lang natin yung mga natira. Tapos, ito naman, 40 plus 4, that would be 44. Bring down ulit natin. And then, ito naman, ay 64 plus 44, that would be 108 base 10. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay? So, let's now move on to our next example. So, in here guys, medyo mahaba yung example natin, pero same process pa rin yung gagawin natin. Kaya lang, matatagalan tayo, okay? So, just be patient. So, dito lang tayo magsa-start ulit sa pinaka-right. Tapos, i -re raise natin lahat yung mga bits sa powers of 2. Okay? After nyan, kukuha nilang natin yung mga corresponding values ng mga naka-on na bits. So, in here, we have 2 raised to 1, which is equal to 2. Plus lang natin sa 2 raised to 2, which is equal to 4. Plus lang natin dito sa 2 raised to 3, which is equal to 8. And then, plus lang natin dito sa 2 raised to 4, which is equal to 16. Okay? After nyan, ito naman 2 raised to 6 is equal to 64. And then, dito naman, we have 2 raised to 8, which is equal to 256. Ayan naman yung chart. Tapos, we have 2 raised to 9, which is equal to 512. And then, 2 raised to 10, which is equal to 1024. So, ayan, medyo mahaba na siya. So, kapag in lang natin yung mga values na yan, yung 1,024 plus 512 plus 256 plus 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 and then plus 2, that would be equal to 1, 8, 8, 6, base 10. Okay? So, ito yung magiging final answer natin. Mas maganda guys na ma-memorize natin itong mga powers of 2 kasi gamit na gamit natin yan dito sa field natin. Okay? Now, let's move on to our next example. Ayan, medyo mahaba ulit siya. In this case, dito ulit tayo magsa-start sa pinaka-right. So, again, i raise lang natin lahat yung mga bits sa powers of 2. So, in this case, itong 2 raised to 0 ay equal to 1. Plus, ito naman ay 2 raised to 1 which is equal to 2. 2 raised to 2 which is equal to 4. 
And then, ito ay 2 raised to 6, which is equal to 64. And then, ito naman ay 2 raised to 7, which is equal to 128. And then, yung 2 raised to 8, which is equal to 256. And then, etong 2 raised to 10, which is equal to 1024. At etong 11, which is equal to 2048. So, mahabang-habang adding lang yan. Pero pwede nyo naman unahin, kung wari, itong mga maliliit na values. So, 64 plus 4, that would be 68. Plus 2 plus 1, that would be 3. Then, i-add natin ulit tong iba. Plus 256 plus 1024 plus 2048. So, kapag in-add natin tong values na lahat na yan, ang makukuha natin sa got would be 3, 5, 2, 7, base 10. Okay? So, eto na yung final answer natin. Now, para matest yung understanding natin, para sa topic na to, meron tayong short assessment dito at eto yung mga list of values na pwede nating i-familiarize at i-memorize. Okay? So, make sure na i-comment nyo lang yung mga answers nyo dun sa comment section sa baba. Tapos, eto yung mga questions natin. So, feel free na i-replay yung mga videos na to and then i-pause yung mga videos at i-solve on your own yung mga questions na nandito. So, that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe to my channel. Bye!